Oh, she can be a bit skittish. But she's a good worker when the wind's in the right direction. I am not looking to employ anyone else. It would free up more time for you to make arrangements for Spain. I'm trying to save money, not spend it. I'll tell you what, I'll cover half her wages for the first month. I am not employing your sister. Is that your final word on the matter? Yes. I don't suppose when you go to Spain there's any chance you could take her with you? Morning, Shelley. Oh, morning, Diane. I missed your breakfast this morning. Oh, I wasn't hungry. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Oh, we'll soon be basking in the sun without a care in the world. Absolutely. Uh, look, I've, I've got to get to the factory now. Bye. Have you got someone organised for that guttering? Uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, well, the scaffolding goes up at the weekend. It's number one on my list of priorities. Mm -hmm. What number's chastity? Hmm? I'm thinking of renting out your room. Look, I'm round there a couple of nights a week, that's all. I've given up trying to advise you about women. But don't let me catch you slacking. How's charity this morning? I don't know, why. Well, she and Sid seem pretty pally in the pub yesterday. Do you reckon there's anything going on there? What, you mean, where did she sleep last night? That is not what I asked. I don't know, it sounds like I'm not the only one round here who's having a bit of fun. Don't push it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad. Oi! You're not eating all that, are you, Chick? Oh, apparently not. Someone's in a good mood this morning. Am I? Yeah, especially seeing as you spent the night on the sofa. Well, at least she didn't keep the rest of us up half the night. <laughs> Buy some earplugs. So I take it Sid made you an offer you chose to refuse. Don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I don't. Shouldn't you be at work? We need to. See ya. All right, flipping it. Eh? It's not right you using him like oh, this. Oh, listen, blokes have used me often enough in the past. Did you see how Tom kept looking at me yesterday? He is definitely, definitely weakening, and I'm telling you that now. You should carry a health warning. <laughs> Morning. Hiya. Charity was just saying what a great night she had last night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> though, uh, I still reckon we've got a bit more uh, getting to know each other to do, though, eh? I best go, I'm going to be late. Actually, Sid, if you feel like it, you can pick me up for lunch if you want. All right, it's a date. Are you completely gone? What? Can't you see she's just playing with you? Yeah, I know. But who am I to discourage her? <laughs> no. First we start with the brown. Brown, right, yeah. Then we do the mane and the features, but we wait until the brown is 100% dry. Have we got that? Yeah. Monica? Monique? Are you French? Shelley! You've made it. We was all getting worried. You all right? Of course she's all right. Shelley, I want a word with you in my office. Close the door, Shell. I'm sorry that things got a little out of hand last night, Shelley. A little? I know my actions might have seemed, well, a tad drastic, but... You're your own worst enemy. We both know that. You held me hostage! Oh, how you dramatise. That's what it was! Oh, come off it, Shelley. Where would you be if I didn't look after you, eh? Now, we'll be all right, you and me. As long as you don't try my patience. And keep your eye on the stroppy French bit. I don't want any slacking. There are a lot of coffee shops in Amsterdam. I could use some help here, Ashley. Not that they sell coffee, of course. Ashley? Oh, sorry, uh, usual, black, no sugar. You seem to have visited quite a few dens of iniquity. Uh, no, actually, that's Frankie's. You sure that Amsterdam's the most appropriate place to take, Laurel? I'm sure it's not all drugs and sex and drum and bass. Nicola seems to think it's a wonderful city. Mm. You're happy to take her advice, are you? Good point. It's your first holiday. Show some imagination. Hello, Scott. Hello. Hello. This is yours. Well, there's no need. It's a company car. I don't work for you anymore. I want you to keep it. I'm not going to change my mind. 
Well, you'll need a car when you take Gina. I don't want her freezing to death on the bus. Everything has to be about what you want, doesn't it? No, she's your daughter. I was going to ring you and see if you wanted to take her out today. Why are you too busy chatting with your mates? No. I just imagined that you would like to spend some time with her. Please, it's not fair to take it out on her. What do you know about fairness? So. Did you get that invoice off to McGregor's? Naturally. Good. Uh, you're not one to let the grass grow, are you? How do you mean? Last night in the pub, you seemed to be enjoying yourself with uh, Sid. Yeah, and so what if it was? You dumped me, remember? Yeah, but maybe you... There's no maybe about it. I mean, what would you expect me to do? Sit in front of the telly, grief stricken all night? Well, I'm sorry, Tom, but life goes on, yeah? These need signing. <laughs> are you joining us for lunch? No. Oh, right you are, then. You come in. Oh, I'll be along in a while. Anyway, what we do, the calf as a special. Oh, and it's back good. one thirty sharp. Right. Steph, uh, I'm just like mask What's that? Yes. It was. It's not brown and white, though, is it? I think she's very artistic. Yeah, but I didn't ask for art. Get your coat. Quoi? You're sacked. Shen. Totally uncalled for. The agency will soon send me someone else. They might need to send you two more if I resign. Shelley? I'm sick of the way you order me about. Tried to scare me yesterday and not into not going to Spain. It's all wrong. Well, that's water under the bridge. Actually, it isn't, because I haven't changed my mind. What? I'm entitled to a little happiness. Of course you are, Shelley. And that's why I'm so hard on you. I'm looking after you. That's what I do. That's how we are. Well, not anymore. Because I am going to Spain, whether you like it or not. And I'm going with Alan. And you accuse me of being cruel. There you go. That's what I like, service with a smile. Oh, I'm glad someone appreciates me round here. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Do they have gondoliers in Amsterdam, or is it just Venice? I don't know, but they've got a red light district, I know that. <laughs> Since the flesh being her specialist subject. I hear the uh, sex museum is very educational. Who says I need educating? Ooh, sounds like Ashley's in for a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> why haven't you changed this? I don't know, why haven't you? Look, I'm not happy about being lumbered with you behind the bar. My heart's not racing about it either, but it wouldn't kill us to be nice to each other for one day. I'm always nice. I won't snipe at you if you don't snipe at me, OK? OK. Hey, smile. What's that supposed to mean? I've already told you I'm a reformed character. Yeah. OK, then. See ya. That was Gordon. He wants me to have Aaron during the summer holidays. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we could hire a caravan. Well, what's wrong with you? No, I mean, me and Aaron, you and your kids, we could go to Skeggy for a week or something. Oh, I don't see Colleen going for that. Well, I wasn't thinking of inviting her. Well, why do you want the kids spoiling our fun? Oh, I suppose not. Come on. Hmm? How do you want me? Oh, just let yourself go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd already gone to lunch. Yeah, well, I'm just on my way. But I'm gonna try out that new noodle bar in Hotton. Right. Well, good luck with that. We're not gonna get anywhere if we don't start talking to each other. Not really heading in the same direction, though, are we, Tom? I wouldn't necessarily say that. Got your lift, darling. Depends where you're heading. Oh, all the way. Well, that sounds just great to me, look.
good news. I've just booked our tickets. That's nice. You don't seem very pleased. Well, can you blame her? What girl wants to spend her holiday surrounded by ladies of the night? Oh, dear. Oh, no, I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful time. Of course we will. Helsinki's beautiful at this time of year. Helsinki? We're going to Helsinki. And this time, I'm going to make sure we're both on the plane when it takes off. <laughs> oh, Ashley, that's such a wonderful idea. <laughs> Some people have their song, I think Finland should be our place. Oh, so do I. <laughs> This dog, I would be really grateful. Sorry. Right. See you later. That's it. You do realise we're just mates, don't you? So what's all this then? Armless flirting. Well, it doesn't have to be armless. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the best I can offer. I'll uh, see you later. Cheers. So we you? Am I supposed to be jealous? <laughs> you can be whatever you like. Hey. Do you mind? There's something special about him, is there? Mm, let's think. He's pleasing on the eye. He's not yet drawing his pension, and he trusts me implicitly. Be careful. Don't overplay your hand. You what? Look, I know what you're up to. And I'm too old to play games. Yeah, and he says you've got a choice. All right, look, I've missed you, OK? I want to be with you, all right? I suspect you feel the same. So why don't we just stop messing about, eh? We should have a special place. Mm. I'm quite partial to Bridlington. OK, then, when can we go? Sorry? Well, I prefer the Gambia or Tenerife, but you know, really, I don't mind where I go as long as you're with me. Planning your holidays? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, but everyone goes on holiday. I'm not ready for that. But I want to make things up to you. Yeah, and appreciate that. But, you know, let's not push our luck, eh? OK. It's just an idea. Yeah, I'm quite prepared to admit that I made a mistake. But I'll not be toyed with. Now, do you want us to get back together again or not? It's not as easy as that. Yes, it is. It's a case of yes or no. Your family is always going to come first. And they made it perfectly clear what they think about me. They can think what they want. But you can't do that, can you? I'm sure you want to, and I want you to want to, but the fact is, when faced with a choice, it'll always be Jimmy or Matthew or Sadie who you'll trust first. I'll just always be made to feel like I have to prove myself. My life's been one trauma after another. I'm skating towards 30. I can't afford to take risks. No matter how much I might love someone. Do you love me? What is the point in loving you? All you really want is a bit on the side. <laughs> that is not true. I don't blame you. I mean, why shouldn't you? But it's just... It's not what I want. I suppose, despite everything, I reckon that Mr Wright might one day come along. Perhaps he has. I mean somebody who will trust me. Someone who won't ever let me down. Sorry, Tom. I'm supposed to be at an auction right now taking pictures of late Victoriana. But some fool stole my camera. Sorry, mate. Uh, and what about the film? Oh, bugger me, Tanner. Uh, 40 quid more like. 20 is all you're having. Babe, are you coming over later? Depends. Oh, go on. I'll cut your favourite. <laughs> what is your favourite? Chili. Great, then it'll be bowling on the hob waiting for you when you get home. Mm -hmm. See you later. See ya.
Danny. Chilly. <laughs> Can forget it, pal. Those tables need wiping if you want to keep occupied. Just another coffee then, right? Well, I was trying to mind my own business. OK. Hiya, Zoe. Well, that's a relief you didn't get up and walk away. Well, I live here. Thanks to you, I've got nowhere else to go. Let's not be like this. Jean misses you. We both do. Well, you should have thought of that before you jumped into bed with Rachel Walton. I did not jump into bed. I explained the situation. Scott, I... I can't love you in the way that you... But it doesn't mean that I don't care about you. I don't want to be cared about. Well, I'm sorry, but you are. Because you mean a lot to me and to her in our own way. We're like a little family, and I'm sorry if I hurt you, but... Well, I just came to say that there's still a place for you at home farm. There always will be. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't find a place for you. At all follow. Well, uh, at the b and uh, Diane said you were looking for another job. Oh, she did, did she? Hey, not so fast. We're playing nicely, remember? What is nice about trying to offload me behind my back? What do you think I am? A chattel? Of course not. Well, not a very valuable one. Oh, spare us the shine and wit, Diane. You Out what? the back! In case you've forgotten, this is my pub. Forget! Like I ever get a chance to! And it was a happy ship before you decided to hit your eyes! Here we go! It's all my fault, is it? I was only trying to do you a favour! The last time you did me a favour was Christmas 1965 when you bought us that bicycle. And two days later, the wheels came off! I'll break whatever I like. Oh, look, I'm gonna get such a slap in a minute. Yeah, well, bring it on. Let's now, there's a flight happens. we could take on Tuesday. It doesn't get in until about midnight, but the agent said he can still find us in a hotel. Okay. Well, should I make a reservation? I, actually, um, I think perhaps we're being a bit hasty. I don't think we've thought things through properly. I mean, Spain, oh, it's a foreign country. What has Stephanie been saying now? Oh, quite capable of thinking things through for myself. I'm sorry, I don't believe you. You mustn't let my daughter dictate to you. I won't allow it. Oh, won't you? Won't you? And what about me? Aren't I allowed to have an opinion? I can't go with you to Spain. I'm sorry, but there it is. I'd like to. I'd like to. I can't. I'm so Shh, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, thank God you're still here. No, I'm not. Your message is on your desk. No, oh, please wait. Tom, we've nothing left to say to one another. Yes, we have. But I'm, I'm not a bloke that gives in easily, especially when I want something badly. I'd like you to take this. I want you to marry me. You what? I've been thinking, you're right, I've been treating you like a mistress, like some sort of disposable accessory. But you're worth more than that. You're the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I don't know what to say, Tom. Yes would be nice. Yeah. Very definitely. 